Dr. Christula, when I look at this herd of cows, I mean, there are a lot of animals here. Uh, how does the herdsman, what kinds of things does the herdsman pick up that he's going to bring your attention to a cow that he doesn't think, or he or she doesn't think is right? Probably the biggest thing for the dairies is going to be their production in the parlor. Hmm. And if they're down in milk, they're probably sick. And our dairy here has meters, so... So you know for each cow? We know for each cow, and the computer will print us out a report and tell us if she didn't milk close to what she milked yesterday. Mm -hmm. So that's probably... Oh, that's real, a real quick feedback. It's very quick. Not everybody have meters, mm -hmm. um, but good, good uh, people milking cows can tell that. And then going along with that would be not eating, and that's probably the same in whatever species. Probably the most common complaint, whether it's your small animal or your horse or whatever, is they're not eating. And it's a little difficult in the group situation here because it's hard to know whether they're all eating or not. Sure, and these free stalls, I mean... It's I... hard to know, but a good herdsman, what they'll do is the cows that are most at risk, which are the ones that have just calved, mm -hmm. they'll put them in a little group. And then when they feed them, they'll make sure that they all come up to eat. Mm -hmm. And if one doesn't come up to eat, they might pick them out that way. The other way for a herd like this, the other thing that we do is we actually take temperatures on them for 10 days after calving. Oh, okay. So okay. we catch them up. And we also take ketones on them, which is something we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. But we have a pretty good idea of their health from that. Mm -hmm. And then there would be more obvious things, things that you just might see, that a cow is limping or a cow Swollen is coughing or... or she just, is all swollen up or things like that that they'll see. Um, mm -hmm. But not eating actually leads to low milk. Mm -hmm. um, some, some dairy farms, they're not walking around like this free stall mm -hmm. and they're tied up and you can tell that they're not eating and mm -hmm. then you know they're sick. Mm -hmm. What about pecking order? Uh, is there some pecking order amongst the cows? Yes, like, like in horses. There's one cow at the top and a whole harem underneath. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you have enough bunk space and waters because one cow can control everything. Mm -hmm. That's great. So. Cows, much more so than horses, have lots of identifications, lots of long-term marking identifications on them. Can you, can you go through the different ways that we know who she is and what she's been tested for? They have a lot of identifications because they tend to lose their IDs. <laughs> and what we hope is that they have one tag that the farmer can identify who she is. Mm -hmm. And these ear tags are the easiest to see. We like those in both ears in case they lose one. Sure. But this is the farm tag. Then she has a couple of metal tags in her which are kind of regulatory tags. They don't have to have them in them unless they're doing state testing, like for brucellosis or TB. But this is a Pennsylvania state tag. It starts with a 23. And this is a brucellosis vaccination tag that used to be orange and has a V in it. Identifies does, that she was vaccinated for brucellosis. Does that stay with her her entire life, we hope? As long as they don't fall out. Uh -huh. If uh -huh. they fall out, we replace them. Uh -huh but they can. And then she's special because she has a leg tag as well, which identifies her electronically in the parlor and also serves as a pedometer so we know her activity. Now, does this tell us uh, how much milk she produces or, or does it just tell us who she is when she comes in the door? It identifies her in the parlor uh -huh. so that then the milk meters the milk meters tell us how much milk, but it's the ID system. The ID system so the meter that. knows who's the who cow. she is. Right. And many of the large dairies, they all pretty much now are moving towards electronic ID and electronic milk. And that's so you know how are your cows doing. If you have a thousand cows, it's hard to know mm -hmm. who's milking and who's not. Mm 